Hello gamers and welcome to the beginning of the Steel Division 2 preview content for the upcoming Man of Steel DLC. It's all still work in progress, so I've got this kind of preview build notification at the bottom left. Things have changed since the dev blocks as well, so and other things might still change too. Uh, one big thing is the introduction of the new traits like uh, Shock and Artillery Leader. And then there will be eight new divisions in the DLC, which is quite a lot. Um, and I will cover all of them as per usual in an introduction video and then um, deck building and the battle. And I will go along the showcases. So we're going to start with the um, first special service brigade. And I want to focus on the new units. And there are actually quite a few in this one. So first, the British First Special Service Brigade, so heavy combat during D-Day and Battle of Normandy, lots of commando units, infantry centric, but also has some tanks, as you will see, and cool airplanes. Um, yeah, so let's see and take a look. With regards to the slots, you can already see you've got, you get lots of infantry slots, but not that many and that cheap for an infantry division. You get some tank slots. Um, Anti-air is super decent with regards to slots and as well as the Air Force. So let's start with the Infantry tab because I always start building my decks in the Infantry tab. You get the known Field Engineer, super cheap, and then we already come to the first new unit, the Commando number 4, Assault Unit, British Troops, and they are an Assault Squad. They don't have the Shock trait, but they are uh, very CQC-ish. I'm not 100% sure what the commando actually does. It's still work in progress. And so I didn't sh there's no description yet in the tooltips. So three stain guns, four Thompsons. Availability is uh, decent. Um, so an interesting unit also with the Willy Pete. You can use it in CQC as well. That's basically its job. You get the engineer leader. That's also a new unit with explosives, only in B-Phase and later. You get the Royal Marine Commando number 45, which is also a new unit. One brain gun, bazookas, 11-man squad for just 20 points, and they can come in the um, amphibious transport. So there's lots of amphibious transports available in this division. And you get the AB leader, already known. You get the AB Paras. Hired. Also already known only in C-Phase, the um, AB units, they arrive a little bit later. Mm. And then there's a change to the AB Paras in the standard variant. They lose one, I think they lose one rifle and get uh, a sniper rifle and they also lose their gammon bomb. Then you get a new unit, Assault Engineers. And, uh, no, sorry, you lose this. I've just checked my notes. You lose this one stun gun and you gain the um, Lee Enfield Sniper Rifle. Another new unit is the Assault Engineer. Oh, Demolition is new as well. I forgot to mention that. Yeah. So TNT, Flamethrower, Seven Man Squad. Assault Engineer comes with flamethrowers and pirates. It's a 12-man squad. It's a new unit as well. Then you get commando number 10 with two Vickers guns. So they can dish out quite nicely, I think. 13-man strong. You get the new commando, and that's the French, actually, French troop. Then you get, and you can see here, the French head. And you get the commando number 6. Um, which has um, a sniper rifle as well, 13-man squad, uh, a brand gun, so not too shabby. Can come in A phase, B phase, C phase. And then you get the commando leader, which is also a new unit. It has pirate, it has uh, a sniper rifle. I am usually not too keen on having my commanders um, or my leaders with sniper rifles because I don't usually want them to fight. Mm, but this one is very capable, also with the five Thompson submachine guns. So you can get 
you have, I think, more choices here than you've got slots. So you can really build the deck to your liking. In the Reckon tab, the Morrison, the Morris LRC, a friend of mine actually, well, unfortunately he died. Um, they had a Morris and then they later bought it and used it privately, but a different variant. Um, this is already available in Panzerna, so a more, it's more a rare unit. Then you get the new Commando Snipers. It's a two-man sniper squad, double sniper. So I think this is pretty pretty good. It's, it has to come with double veterancy. And then you get the 30 assault unit. And I think I read in the devlog that Ian Fleming, the, um, the guy who invented James Bond, um, was in that unit. So you get the... Um, Lanchester submachine guns, Thompson submachine guns, Penn submachine guns and the Bren. So they can really dish out in CQC. You can bring them only in the new, I think it's a new vehicle, the C-15TA, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm a personnel carrier, so you can use it for Reckon afterwards. Plus five points. The field team here, you can, um, the Reckon group, you can bring in the Willis as well, depending on your liking. It's um, basically um, from the same unit, but it's been split up. And as you can see, uh, the loadout is quite different. Um, here we go. Um, it's got smoke and the Vickers. It's more for the range and also with the bolt action rifles. Yeah, so the Reckon group is more for uh, ranged combat. If you want to fight them at all, then you get Scout Speared and the stack hound, which is there to kind of show the mobility of the division. Tank tab, you get the uh, Royal Marine Sherman 2, which is a new unit. And it has less armor than the Sherman 5, as you can see here. Uh, so hmm, when you get the Sherman 5, that can swim. Normal Sherman 5. The swimming one is A phase only, then the other one is B phase. And then there is the Sherman 5 Commander. I think this is a new unit. There's no Sherman 5 Commander yet. And then you get a Firefly. This is your ranged option, 2000 meter range, only in B phase. As you can see, some of the stuff only gets available, you know, later on. Port tap, you get two inch mortars, short range 540 meters, but they are new. There are no commando mortars yet, obviously. You get a 4 GPA supply, which is cool. It can swim. And also, uh, I like splitting up the, uh, um, the supply. It's typical for parachuter, parachuting uh, divisions. Then Commando Vickers, HMG, obviously the Commando thing is new. And then you get Vickers HMG, you get an F Avery, which is actually cool with 150mm um, out front armor, but range is only 500 meters, so be aware of that. It's also super slow. You get a Crocodile with better range, it also has flames, also super slow. And then you get three Commando options. Um, and the anti-tank tab, you get the Piat, only in B-Phase though. And the Commander Tank Busters are your option for um, A-Phase and you can bring them in a Ford GPA or the, the Willis. So in particular in the Ford GPA, super fast and they even have CQC capabilities, so really nice unit. Then you get the Wolverine in C-Phase. 17 pounder in C phase and then the Achilles, I think it's been added. Um, I, and historically, you give them a little bit more punch. A, B, C. And we've got sheep slots. So I guess you won't take the P up usually. Anti air. You get the Polston self propelled. You get the tree Polston that you already know from, I think, Sigdarbon. 
for example. And then you get the Bofors, which is usually all you need. You get so many slots here. But then you get the Bofors self-propelled, which is only available in South Africa for the division and first Panzerna. And this is obviously really, really good. And you can see you get two availability in A single vetted or well, both was B single vetted or four. So for, for only um, five points more, you get uh, the, other than that, there's no difference. You get the, uh, you know, the uh, mobile element, which I think is definitely worth it. Then you get the Crusader AA Mark One, only available so far in 15th Infantry, the Scottish one, only B phase and later. Crusader AA Mark II also to be also only in B phase and later, and only available in Panchurna so far. And then you get the QF 3.7 inch um, millimeter, which is also a decent only HL though, um, AT gun. Only in C phase though, like the 17 pounder, six yeah 17 pounder. In the artillery tab, you get spotters. You get artillery commanders here. You can see the new artillery commander trait, artillery leader trait here. You get radio mortars, which is really good. They are 65 points um, because of the radio. And then you get a changed unit. The RM Centaur 4 now has indirect fire capabilities. I think that's new. It's so far only available in 6th Airborne. And you get the new off map. Uh, well, you get a Willis with a 381mm chip off map. And then you get a Morris LRC off map with rocket artillery. And this is also uh, new. Air tap, super cheap slots, to a ton of them, combined with the. Um, with the AA, it's actually quite nice. Um, you get the Wildcat, which is only available in um, Premier DFL so far. You get the Black Widow. The Black Widow is a new plane type in Steel Division 2. You get the Sea Fire, which is, which is not new, but this variant, Sea Fire L Mark III, is a new variant. Excellent agility, single vetted, so um, nice loadout, nice availability, very cheap, but good. And then you get Hellcats once. And pretty much all the Hellcats are new. Um, well, the Spitfire here is not, but then you get Hellcat 1 as a fighter. You get Hellcat 1 with 213 kilogram bombs. You get a Hellcat 1 with uh, rockets and six Brownings. You get a, they all, I think they all have six Brownings, yeah. Then you get a Hellcat one with two 454 kilogram bombs. It obviously get, gets more expensive and the availability drops, as you can see. And then you get a Hellcat AT um, rocket plane. Um, and you even get two of them in B phase single vetted. Yeah, but you lose quite a bit when you upbet them. Then again, you also gain the agility. So this is a really interesting division. Lots of really good infantry, more than you can actually slot in, I think. Tank tap is decent. And then later on, you get some more punch with the 17 pounder and maybe the, um, maybe the QF 3.7 inch um, in C phase. So, yeah, with all the face locked C face units, it's leaning a bit towards a balanced deck, I would say, and it can fight pretty much everything. It is lacking, it is lacking in ranged support. So you don't have um, a 2K option here, a 2K HE option. This is a weakness in this division for sure. Obviously also the you know, the ranged options with regards to AT are somewhat limited, even though you get some, as you can see here. And artillery, it remains to be seen how good the Centaur 4 is. 
you get two cards, would be good. Um, so you need to make good use of that. So this is the division. Let me know in the in the comments what you think. And thanks a lot for watching. Until then, bye for now.